What's good, my people? We are definitely back for another one of these set of one and only Sunday edition reaction vibes. <laughs> Yes, sir. Welcome once again. And of course, if you're new to this channel, definitely subscribe. This is, of course, where your boy, me, Mr. Lex, tends to give his reactions on a number of videos taking place across the board, Dominica, and so forth, guys. Today is February 20th, March. I hopefully hope that I can pull it off because I'm going to try my best to post a video every day <laughs> for March, guys. March is a special month. Hallelujah. March is a wonderful month. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. Anyways, guys, with all that stated, um, we have the wonderful Rene right there and then, guys. And of course, as you can see behind her, this is, of course, Scott said, as you can see, guys, this is Scott said. And of course, this means she is in the nature aisle of the Caribbean Dominic. And this is what she has to say right there. Hey, my name is Renee Francis. I'm the lieutenant in the 46th Precinct Detective Squad of the NYPD. Uh, the 46th Precinct is located in the Fordham section of the Bronx. And I will be with Ferdina Frampton on Monday from 8 p.m. To 10 p.m. for in the spotlight and I hope to see you guys um, she's gonna be streaming it through Facebook as well so tune in live on Monday yeah. so I yes guys so she'll be there on for diner um, on the spotlight thing I'm um, sure so definitely guys tune in for that to hear her story I guess on what she has to say but she's in the nature Isle of the Caribbean guys of course traveling all the way from the United States down to Dominica hopefully no Rona situation is happening. <laughs> I had to put that in there. <laughs> but yeah, man, guys, tune in. Of course, that'll be tomorrow, Monday. So definitely tune in to In the Spotlight with Rini and Ferdina and all the people there right there and there. Now, guys, previously, I actually showcased the video of the Prime Minister taking the Rona. Well, quote-unquote, taking it. And, of course, there's a nurse who has a lot to say in this regard right there. Based off the kind of syringe that they used. And this is, of course, if you have not seen it, this is, of course, what she has to say right there. Yeah. So I have noticed that everybody is posting a video of the Prime Minister getting his vaccine and saying, oh, he didn't get his vaccine. By the way, oh crap, I think I missed this one. I hope they don't, <laughs> I hope they don't put that, you know, hey. Anyways, yeah. Because one person gets more and he gets less. So just a little clarification, we have different syringes. So this right here is a 10 cc syringe or 10 milliliter syringe. This is a one mm. milliliter syringe. This is a three milliliter syringe. Wait a while. Guys, before I continue, who put the background music to that? Huh? Who put the background music to that? Boy, and the background music never sinking. <laughs> Boy, I tell you. Syringe, and this is a five milliliter syringe. So, if you're going to give zero point five milliliters of the in all these syringes, you. then you're going to have a different amount per syringe. But everybody's getting. Hey, I hope all you don't copyright me. Eh? I don't play it for you. Don't copyright me. <laughs> hey, all you, Hey, <laughs> I know it's Sunday, but please. Zero point five. So let me show you. So this is a 1 Boy. cc syringe. This is 0 0.5 mils. So it's, 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 it's pretty wide. It's pretty, not wide, no, it's pretty length. length in a 1 Deep, depth, the depth, length, depth, whatever you want to call it. There's a lot in there, as you can see, based off the size of the syringe. cc syringe. This is 0 0.5 mils. So this one is a bit thicker. In so there's not much space right there. A uh, five cc syringe. This is zero point five mils in a. F this one's a bit smaller though than the previous one, so you'll see a bit more. Three cc syringe, and this is zero point five cc. I think this is the one the prime minister took. In a ten mil syringe. So look at the differences. Look at all of them. You have ten mils. 5 mil syringe, 3 cc or mil syringe, and the 1 milliliter syringe. You see? I, I don't think that I'm not sure. <laughs> they give the Prime Minister that one self. So I don't think that I'm much in at all. <laughs> and each of these syringes has a 0 0.5 in it. It makes sense. That's what I said. Um, I stated in my, my actual um, um, the reaction video when I was doing the reaction of him. I say that the needles that they did for the first guy and the needle that and the syringe that they used for the first guy and, and the prime minister they were two different ones 
so that was pretty obvious right there i guess people didn't notice not as obvious as i thought <laughs> so that is how you can know so obviously the smaller the syringe is the larger amount you're going to see in it i think it's a narrower the syringe but that doesn't mean he did not get the 0 0.5 or he only got 0 0.1 or he didn't get it because you can see it right here okay you see where the 0 0.5 is on the one cc syringe look at where it is on this three cc syringe look at where it is on the but what happened to those people in the background music now? the song nice you know but the background music <laughs> five cc syringe and in the 10 cc syringe you can almost not see it but there is 0 0.5 cc in all of the syringes so i hope that can help us yes sister it clarifies for everybody who didn't know however i want to point out something right there for you guys let me see if i can get all of them in in the picture okay so yes we have this what if i told you that this was the exact thing that they injected into the prime minister and they considered this to be the actual runa solution what if that was the same that that all this I could say, okay, these are the runa solutions. I could say that. Nobody knows exactly what exactly is inside this thing, don't we? <laughs> this could be saline. This could, this could be water. This could be the runa solution. But what if it was actually a saline that they put inside there and wanted to portray it as the runa? That was my point in my video. Not the size of the, the syringe and this kind of things there. Although... That was a bit interesting to see. Yes, it went down a little. Actually showed the thing, magnified everything. But what if inside the syringe, which is the most important thing, not the, the needles, the, the syringe size, but the inside. What if this thing is actually just water? Or just saline, salt and water that they actually give, in, give the, the prime minister? That was the whole point right there. What are your thoughts, guys? Do you think they actually gave it to him? Or do you think it was made up anyways guys i saw something rather interesting and this is it stop no not this one this is it right there guys no guys don't be shocked by the stuff that you get to see sometimes because i myself i was taken aback by this one so we have a nice house and then we have yonatan <laughs> Yonatan, <laughs> probably the younger folks don't know what I'm saying. Yonatan was the circus them that came to Portsmouth and around Dominica. There was lions and tigers, no bears, but lions and tigers. They were had, they would, they would, you know, had them in in circus in Portsmouth and maybe in Rosa as well. And you know, Yonatan was one of the younger folks that the girls like. So every time I see some sort of thing like that, I call it the Yonatan. You know, Yonatan man, Yonatan and his fifteen tigers. So we have sister planning to make part of the circus. <laughs> what would cause people to do these things? Eh? What would cause people to do these things? My goodness gracious! And she filming herself with sister that cannot heavy weight. You have embolized it on that little tiny piece of string. It's not called rope that day, you know, brother. Not called rope. It's not iron rope that day, you know. That like a twig. On this side. <laughs> that is a hit wing in relative to her. But hey, sister, try nothing. Hey, she feeling like them kind of acrobat. Acrobat, sister, acrobat. Oh. <laughs> but she up in here. But that does strong, eh? <laughs> that does strong, father. <laughs> but not Look at get in the room, Papa. Look at get the room there. But they didn't have to really that the Papa. The lady uh, forget that. The lady do her own self that. I tell you boy. But all man staying inside there, they fui. They fui. Talk about pui guys. I saw this. <laughs> I saw this thing right there. Take a listen to this. Hmm. For five million rads. Five million rads. That is the big thing on top there. That is the main thing. He he passed. He answered all them questions, guys. And you will think that he has it. Pray, oh yes, Father, give it to me. Give me an easy 
an easy question. But sometimes, guys, when you see you praying and asking God for easy questions, sometimes he gives you an easy question, but you have to make sure you know the answer to the easy question that he sent for you. This is an example of this right here. Here's your final question. When is your anniversary? We <laughs> easy, not true. Easy. All right. Oh, the happy. <laughs> Woo! Boy. <laughs> oh, Rastafara. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ella, Flara, Ella. Five million rads, my brother. Five million rads, I think about. Um, five hundred thousand, five million, eight, 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 so I guess the next step for you to do, because you're going to lose everything. You're going to lose everything. Nenen self was happy. Oh. Nenen happy, and then she realized with her hair. Looky there, but it not been. Hey, la nenen. Oh no, <laughs> guys, what do you have to do? If this was you, what would you do in this situation? I know what the brother probably did after this. This is what he probably did. He had to. I mean, come on. <laughs> no, that's a little. That's a little too much. <laughs> that's a little too much. Eh? <laughs> but if you lose fifty thousand dollars, boy, in Africa, my brother, I mean, come on. Anyways, guys, with all that stated, let's head down to Jamaica. <laughs> do a lot of I think he's all right. <laughs> Anyways, that's not the guy, eh, by the way. This is just an isolated incident that I put together. Yeah. Anyways, guys, this is happened. This is what like happened. The whole family on our sickness. <laughs> this talk on it. When I'm not show grill, have pot. No zagil uncle. Pachil. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This man. When I'm not zagil, have bail, and no pachil. You're too deep, pachil. Jesus Christ, push it to people and shop. Just one look of silver. You're too damn deep. I think they should leave him there, honestly. You go inside there. Who tell you put your head? You know them little children that could put their head in, reel, head in reeling? Because they don't know that if they push their head, it might have a little difficulty, especially as a growing child. Your, your head might be growing at the moment that you push your head through the ballisters. Okay? This brother is a grown man. <sighs> A grown man trying to volley them people thing. They should leave him there. Oh, I think his punishment should stay there for a night, man. Stay there for don't send him in jail. He gonna eat some chicken and some pork and them kind of thing there when he go to jail. It's like you paying him, you feeding him to gun teeth, and then <laughs> and then coming out again and thiefing some more for him to go back again to have some chicken and pork, brothers and sisters. But you should leave him there. Leave him there for some two days, man. Not one day. Leave him there for two nights. Three days and three nights, man. Let him be like Jesus. Today is Sunday. Three days and three nights, man. Have him in the grave. Well, on the grave. Have him in the balisters, man. Make him find his way. You should handcuff him today so he can stay there for three days. Give him some water. No, man, he fasting. He has to pray. And ask God to forgive him for his dirty ways, man. His dirty, stinking ways. Come in and volley and then people shop hard-working people. You decide to hard-work thief. That is what he decide to do. To be a hard-working thief. It's still not the same. But stop your dirty ways, man. Anyways, guys, if all that said, there's more of this thing where they actually have to But I should put, you should put handcuff there, handcuff there, handcuff one and there. Hunk of the other one day and then take a belt. <laughs> take a belt. <laughs> Every day he stay there for the three days. Make him feel like Jesus, man. <laughs> Don't beat him too much, you know. Just give him like five licks, man. Every day. Fifteen. For the thief you thief in so he can learn his lesson. Not to thief people things, brothers and sisters. Volley! 
Sacre tonne. Vole. <laughs> Anyways, guys, with all I said, in all seriousness, let's head back to the vibrations right there and then. I actually saw this video. This is the one that I actually saw right there. And I think this is relative to understanding human nature in itself. Or inquisitiveness can be represented by this cat right there. And I just want to put this into perspective. I guess I'm doing this right there. So Puss decided, hey, mommy, look something moving in the plate. And decided to put it on there to see if he can pet it. Because it's a normal custom of petting. Not true? Well, not the case. Kitty, kitty start to bawl, man. Kitty start to squeal, man. Not true? Because the Gondi of the crab hold kitty. No, there's something I want to take from this thing. Understanding that this cat is human nature. Sometimes we are inquisitive to do certain things that we know we shouldn't be doing, but we still do it for the sake of doing it sick. And therefore, when we end up in our turmoil and troubles, we then need somebody to come and rescue us from our own dirty ways. And when we do that, somebody rescuing us, at the end of the day, You'll have people laughing you. <laughs> laughing you for your stupidness. But this I, I, bringing things to a bit of an understanding right there. Sometimes when the person that comes to save us from our dirty ways, we then blame that person for our deeds. You know, people like to blame God. So today's Sunday. You know, people like to blame God. Hey, God, why you make people sick? When the very people themselves are the ones who creating this kind of diseases and illnesses. Hopefully they hook up for me this time. <laughs> they're creating all these kind of things there. And the V's out there. And then they're trying to create a solution. When bad things happen to human beings, they then blame God. When it's human beings that put themselves in the same kind of trouble that these things. And then... We end up hurting ourselves and being sad and hey, let's help me somebody and look at this and then people laughing us, some people laughing us. But then we end up blaming the wrong person, not realizing the person that saved us. We then blame the person, we then blame God for all the turmoils in the world. It's interesting to understand that. It's interesting. I just had to put that out there. Hope you guys understand what I'm saying. But um, with that said, if you did understand, give this video a thumbs up. And if you definitely want to see more, definitely subscribe to this reaction channel, guys. And I will see you guys in the next reaction video right there. And then marathon coming, guys. See you soon.